What's the deal with these bridges in Bowser's Kingdom? On the surface, they seem fine, until you realize that the supports for them just don't attach to anything and are simply floating. Or what about this door in New Donk City? Oh wait, not that door. This door that leads to a giant pit. I guess make sure you don't take the wrong exit when you leave from work here. Well, it seems like we need to apply some real life logic into the Mario series this time. A franchise that is very well known for being realistic and takes itself very seriously. So here are 30 things in Mario Odyssey that don't make sense. How come Mario can submerge his entire body in ice cold water up to the bottom of his head and he doesn't start to freeze? But if I move an inch forward, only then he starts to lose health and freeze from the cold. So it's almost like the process of him swimming makes him freeze rather than the coldness of the water itself. How come when you use a painting to teleport to a different kingdom, the Odyssey will already be at that different kingdom too, even though no one flew it over? And Cappy came with you through the painting as well, so it's not like he was flying. Plus, there is no mention of any autopilot mode, so does this thing have like a teleport feature or something? Also, how come the Odyssey has human chairs inside of it? Like, wasn't this ship made by the residents? of Cap Kingdom, and these guys just float around, they don't ever sit down. I mean, Cappy himself doesn't even use the seats, and there isn't any chairs in Cap Kingdom either. Why are the Toads operating a shop in a kingdom with literally no residents in it? That's business 101 for ya, don't open up a shop in Lost Kingdom. Plus, I don't even know why they're charging in local currency, like why do you even need these purple leafs? Just charge in coins. And also, why do the toads even sell you moons to begin with? I'm trying to save Peach here, guys. Don't withhold valuable power moons that I need to use for the Odyssey to start again. I'm trying to save your princess. Are you really trying to make a quick buck off your boss's misfortune? Or do you just not like Peach to begin with? The whole reason you collect power moons is to power your ship so you can fly to the next kingdom. But then how come I can fly back to any previous kingdom without any fuel or power or whatever it is? I could take a whole joyride day trip around all the previous kingdoms, but as soon as I want to go to a new kingdom I haven't been to, Cappy's all like, nope, we need more power first. How is Toad listening to headphones? First of all, he doesn't even seem to have ears on him. And secondly, he's wearing them on his hat. As shown in the Mario Bros TV show, that is a hat and not his head. So do his ears look like this or something? How do you fly into the Wooded Kingdom using the Odyssey? I mean, there looks to be this giant dome around the entire place which creates this secluded environment. And then if you want to say, oh, there's like doors or something that must have opened and you were let in, well then how did these bunnies get in? Because they're trying to steal this kingdom's resources, so surely they weren't let in. Mario can't breathe underwater in this game, and yeah, that makes sense to me. So given that, how come Mario can breathe in space when on the moon? I think it would only make sense to have a similar air meter. I mean, even the other humans need astronauts not helmets, so Mario's gotta be like superhuman. And speaking of the moon, how come this place has, well, moon gravity on the surface, but when you go into the caves, you're just back to normal gravity again? And it's not like you're closer to the core of the planet or anything, because the exit is literally way up here. So one side of this cave exit is moon gravity, and just outside of that is normal gravity. How come Peach is just hanging out with one of Bowser's minions, aka this giant giant dragon. Like, I know we've already defeated him, but just look at the guy. He's eyeing down Peach like he's ready to get back up. I mean, Peach, take some precautions at this point. No wonder you're always kidnapped. How come Mario doesn't just, you know, get on Yoshi's back anymore? These two have been friends for a while, and this is how it's always gone. But now Mario has this fancy new capture ability. He's trying to like show it off more or something. But I'm sure Yoshi is not a fan of being mind controlled. 
Now you can even make him jump off a ledge and kill himself by himself. Now that is brutal. What is with the clouds in this game? Like, how come you can stand on certain ones, yet you'll fall right through others? I'd assume this would be pretty frustrating to deal with if you lived here, not knowing which surfaces are solid. How come most of these kingdoms are surrounded by these giant pits? Like, it's funny how all of these places just seem to be in the middle of nowhere. And if you want to say that this is just the landscape, then what's New Donk City's excuse? You're just on this big man-made pillar with a bunch of buildings and streets on top? There's even streets that just go nowhere, saying it's under construction. Oh yeah, right? That road is never getting finished. But then since there are these pits all over here, how do the residents of these kingdoms even leave these little areas? Like you got here from the Odyssey, but most kingdoms don't have flying vehicles, with a few exceptions. So are all these residents just stuck here for life? What is with this weird little park in Metro Kingdom? It's named after Mayor Pauline, but like, how do the residents even get over here? You had to use the capture ability, but as for everyone else, are they just stuck here now? There's not much to do here either, it's just a patch of grass on a rooftop. Horrible place to play football. Why is there all these random electric wires all over this game? Even in places like Cascade Kingdom where electricity isn't even invented yet. There's nothing that needs electricity here. And then there's even wires that go all the way back to Cap Kingdom 2. Jeez. Why is there two different versions of bunnies in this game? There's these normal tiny bunnies that you chase, but then there's these weird giant mutated talking bunnies that work for Bowser. So what is up with these guys given that normal bunnies exist in this universe too? How come the inside of Peach's castle is only one room? Like this is the same castle from Mario 64 indicated by the trees outside, Yoshi on top and just the general looks as well. So how come every single room was removed from Mario 64 and just left with this tiny interior? Not a trace of any doors even. How come only some things can be captured while others can't? There's no rhyme or reason with it too, it's so odd. And then some random object you can just capture if they have this like mysterious little question mark button on it. You can even just be like a tree, somehow. How come there are some points where you can use the spark capture without any wires this time? It's like you're just soaring through the air, and if that's the case, then why can't I just fly around with the spark capture anywhere? That would be so cool. Mario naturally casts a shadow on the ground. So then why is it when a giant object like a rock or something is blocking the sun, then Mario still casts his shadow too? It's almost like he casts a double shadow as it seems to get darker, so that makes even less sense. Also, in this seaside kingdom, if you capture a stack of Goombas, they will still have the same shadow, right? But you now also have a second shadow that is right underneath you. What? You can have two shadows now, but there's still only one sun? This isn't Tatooine. How come you can just phase right through the giant Odyssey balloon? You can just climb up to the Odyssey and go right through it, in fact. Or even just use this flying guy up here and you can fly around without a care. Is this balloon actually just an illusion? In Bowser's Kingdom, I assume that I was just standing on really tall mountains that were covered by the clouds this whole time. But if you take a closer look from this lower angle, then you'll actually see the bottom of these structures, which looks quite odd. So are these like floating trapezoids or something? How come Mario is acting really out of character here and is not eating these mushrooms? He even goes a step further and just kicks these things away like he doesn't care for them anymore. More. You could use those one-ups, what are you doing? What's even weirder though, is that Yoshi is now the one who eats them. Like what? How do Luigi and Peach seemingly appear in every kingdom at the same time? Like you could fly to the furthest kingdom using the Odyssey, 
and they're already there before you land. My conclusion is that these are merely imposters and are clones of the actual Luigi and Peach. What are the scooters in this game made of? They're so weak and fragile. They can't even knock down these tiny gates in Metro. And if you drive them into water, they just instantly dissolve. Do they get so rusty they just disappear or something? I don't even know. Let me know if you want to see part two and comment some things that don't make sense to you. See ya!